now to an ABC <laughs> News exclusive. Diane Sawyer inside Rikers Island, the largest single jail complex in the country, one of the most violent, too. 80% of the nearly 8,000 prisoners are awaiting trial, and now the new jail commissioner has a radical plan to change a history of violence. Over 415 acres, the sprawling humanity of Rikers Island. Out of sight, often out of mind. Officers, inmates, some of them kids who have walked in the door for the first time. Had you been away from home before this? No. This is the longest I've been away from my mom. 17-year-old Franklin Smalls, his father left when he was a baby. He's a child of the sprawling housing projects, the poverty, the gangs, the drugs. I don't want to live in the project forever. I don't want to move to like somewhere far, like North Dakota or something, somewhere that nobody plans on going. Like more than half the inmates at Rikers, Franklin's being held for a non-violent crime, most of them involving possession and selling of drugs. What was the crossroad that got you here? Like you said, you go one way and then you go another way. I just went the opposite way or the good way. But Franklin loved school and has written a letter to the judge hoping for another chance. You're right here. I'm a nobody. I learned from my mistakes. There's a lot I look forward to in the future. Give me someone to talk to if I feel myself thinking negative thoughts. In the past, videos show that even nonviolent kids can be forced to survive a violent population. Which brings us to the new man in charge at Rikers, a man who says he has come to change this notorious place, starting with solitary. Commissioner Joseph Pont says there's no evidence this kind of treatment reduces violence and says, remember, 80 percent of the inmates at Rikers will eventually be back out on the streets. He wants everyone here to work for a different result. We can change people's lives. And if you don't believe that, then, then you've got to say that these are throwaway people, right? So they're throwaways. They're violent when they came in. They're going to be violent when they go out. And they're going to be the next criminal that does 50 years, the next assault because these guys are getting out. They're going to be your neighbor. Pont is drastically reducing the use of solitary confinement. And perhaps his most controversial, even radical idea, something that would be the first in the country, get rid of solitary completely for the most potentially violent population in the jail, 18 to 21-year-olds, who are, by the numbers, the most difficult group to control. Hasn't it been a third of the violence? A third of the violence. Doesn't that give you pause, getting rid? It's not easy. I mean, these are, these are difficult, dangerous people that we're dealing with. It's not, I'm not saying this is an easy task for us, but it's a much better, hopeful outcome than what we were doing. You've never been shaken in that belief? I, I haven't. And you can Ooh. see a lot more of Diane's special report and find out how the commissioner's new plan is being received by watching Hidden America Inside Rikers Island tonight on Nightline.